All right, a very simple way of checking the rudder direction to make sure that your, your tail blades are moving in the right direction if you give left stick input uh, that it's actually going to turn the model in the right direction. This is not a, you know, this is not a heli command thing. This is just uh, RC helicopters in general, but it does apply to this one as well. I'll also show you how to reverse it if you've got it done incorrectly. If you have it set up incorrectly, I'll show you how to reverse it in the software here in just a second. So an easy thing to do is just to come here, make sure that your, your uh, to start with, that your tail rotor hub is pointing vertical to the ground rather than horizontal. You can do it either way, but you may hit the, you may run into a boom issue or whatever, but I just put it this way. Uh, take the top blade and point it forward. Take the bottom blade and point it backwards. So you see that you have kind of a, sort of an S type of a shape there with the blade. Then when you give left rudder, left stick input on your radio, the blades will go left. When you give right, the blades will point to the right. And then the way to check your gyro compensation, which on the heli command is just one switch for both, one little uh, toggle switch on the software for both. When you move the tail, the blades, if I move the tail to the right, the blades should compensate to the right, which means the nose is going left, the blades go the opposite direction. So when I move right, the blades should move right, which they do. When I go left, they correct to the left. And that's how the gyro works. It's probably hard to see in the video, but just, just remember that um, left stick input, they go left, right stick input, they go right. So it's a very easy way to check versus if you have them pointing in their normal orientation in flight, like so. It may be a little confusing to some people to figure out. It's no different like this, but it, it confuses some people and they're not quite sure if it's going in the right direction. So how do you reverse it on the software if you need to? We'll go up to the software and take a look at that. So here on the mixer tab in the software, very simply, as you can see, we're on the mixer tab. And over here on the left, there's a button right here that says tail servo gyro direction. If you needed to change your direction, you'll just select that, come over here and write it to the software, make sure you have an equal sign, and then go and check again. Now if it's working in the right direction, you know you've got it squared away. In my case, it was good how it was, so I'm just going to come right back over here and hit the plus sign so it's back to normal. Come back over and write that to the software. As soon as I get a green equal sign, I know it's saved, I can go and check it. Just remember that if you go into the trim tab or you go into the diagnose tab, it's going to lock you out and you're not going to be able to have control uh, with your transmitter of the of the model. So you, you might be confused, why, why am I not getting any any feedback when I give stick inputs? So hopefully that's helpful for people who are having a hard time figuring out if their tail is going in the right direction or how to change it in the software.